Shalom Aleichem everybody. I want to make this video in honor of my grandfather who today is his yard site. It's the anniversary of his passing. Um, his name is Aaron Ben Mordechai Hakoyan. And so if you could all, when you're lear watching this video, you're learning Torah you, and when you do mitzvahs, you do a good deed, have in mind the elevation of the soul of my incredible grandfather. Yeah. So in this video, I want to talk about the journey that the soul goes through in this world and even before so to give a little background I've said this in previous videos but I think it's such a beautiful topic that needs even more attention before our soul was put into our body it was united and integrated included within the infinite Hashem it was literally a part of Hashem it wasn't something within Hashem that is separate it was literally a part a spark of the the infinite one it was a part completely united with Hashem so with that being said our souls experience incredible revelations and incredible delight being in the present being united with the Creator there's no greater delight in the sense because now to an extent we get to reach an even higher level in Hashem before we were born, it's true, we were in, we, our soul experienced infinite delight. But now we get to reach an, a level even higher. Why? Because now our soul is in the body. Now that our soul's in the body, it's able to, now it's able to refine the body. When God spoke to the, the nation, the Bnei Israel, the Israelites, the Jewish people, on Mount Sinai, the, the revelation was so overwhelming, so powerful that the souls of each, of each Jew left their bodies and after, the first two, after each commandment Hashem had to re-put the souls back in the body because the body, the soul could handle godliness. The soul could a handle a, 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 an incredible revelation of Hashem. But the body, for the body, it wasn't able to support, uh, wasn't able to handle, to tolerate it wasn't yet able to tolerate this infinite light. Except Moses. Moses was able to because he was so refined. So why does Hashem send us down into this world? In a sense, the soul actually, like I said before, it was at the infinite level of delight. But the body wasn't. So the soul comes down into this world to then refine the body. Because now, Hashem loves us all very much. Hashem loves us all infinitely. And th so he wants to give us a chance to give back to him because he knows that that would be our greatest pleasure. He knows the greatest pleasure is to give to somebody else. So when an Ashama comes down into the world, it now gets to give back to Hashem. And for Hashem, and for us, that is the greatest pleasure. It's the greatest delight. So that's why we have to always be doing tshuva because we don't know because we've been given such an incredible opportunity that we don't know the damage that one little thing could have had on our soul, the missed opportunity. So we have to always be trying to do more, always trying to return to Hashem because the opportunity that's been given to us is so infinite. And then once we refine the body enough, then the body also could handle the revelation of the Ore and Sof, the, the infinite light. And uh, and then so during so so that is the ultimate that will be an even greater revelation to the soul and the body than the soul had before it was born because what before the the soul was born the soul was put into the body it was it was united with the infinite light of Hashem united with Hashem Himself even but the body wasn't able to handle it now through the Torah and mitzvahs that we've been given we're able to refine our body that even that even our body now could handle the infinite light of Hashem. So in a way, I would say that that could be an even greater revelation, even greater delight than before. For Hashem, it's all the same. Hashem is infinite. For Hashem, Hashem is Haya Hoveh and Yeh. Hashem is beyond time. So for Hashem, everything is happening now. It's as if it's already the Messianic era, the Geula in Hashem's perspective, because everything's one. But from our body perspective, our soul perspective, it could be that even our soul will de derive even greater pleasure because we'll recognize the mission that we accomplished for our Creator. And we have to always be doing tshuva. And I want to say in this video that I've been doing something for, for a long time now that always helps me 
do tshuva, and it's the tikkun klali. It's the the ten tehillim, the ten psalms. If you ever heard of tikkun klali, it's the ten psalms that Rabbi Nachman assembled. That Rabbi Nachman put uh, decided, figured out that these ten psalms together have a phenomenal power to nullify sins, to to purify oneself from from previous sins. It's called the general fixing. So I would suggest to everyone, if you have the opportunity, to please try to say this 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 assembly of, of, of psalms, the tikkun klali, the general fixing. For me, it's it's had an an unama- un- beyond words the impact it's had on me in my life. And the point is now that we have to always be doing tshuva. And now we have to. We're in a state of reality that we we can no longer sit down and feel sorry for ourselves. We have to act. And the way to act, the way to do tshuva, the way to return to God is besimcha. As, as the Rebbe, Rebbe of Lubavitch says, we are in the generation now, we, we, have, we can go right to simcha. Simcha is the ultimate purifying aspect. So we have to be strong. We have to recognize, we have to internalize the beautiful opportunity that's been given to us. That our beautiful creator has, 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 has sent us on this mission. So now we'll be able, even though our soul was in, the, was in such an incredible place before we were born. But there's room to even get higher towards Hashem. And for that, Hashem sent us down here and we will get even closer to Hashem that even our bodies will be able to handle the light. And if you're a Gentile, you have a mission to, to, to do the seven laws of Noah, to spread it to the world and to, to have a relationship with the Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when a Gentile, a righteous Gentile does this, they also prepare themselves for the, for the revelation that's coming, the, the light of Hashem that's going to be um, revealed to the world in the days of Mashiach. And the righteous Gentiles also have a portion and they are bringing the redemption by following the seven laws of Noah. So thank you all so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please have in mind my grandfather, Aaron ben Mordechai HaKohen. His neshama should have an aliyah. His neshama should reach an even higher place in unity with Hashem to reach an even greater delight in the world to come. And he should actually, as I say to people, it should be such a great aliyah. The soul of my grandfather should have such a great ascent that it's not no longer limited to being above in the spiritual realms, but that everything should be revealed down here. And we'll all get to be together in the Messianic era, in the days of Mashiach, with the base of Migdash Shlishi, the, the complete redemption forever. Thank you. God bless you.